we are back with another review and today we got a sick toy to add to my personal collection uh for an out of box one i have another one that's in box but this one we're gonna take out of box and we're doing it right here today on this video so without further ado let's hop right into this review today we are reviewing todd mcfarland's the doom slayer from doom eternal so this is a newer uh toy that they dropped because he's got the the blade there that comes out of his gauntlets he's got the double barreled shotgun with that lancer on the front there mcfarland toys they make some of the best toys on the planet i mean to be honest it's like when it comes to figures it's they're way up there they've been and they've been doing it for a long time that's the thing um some of my Spawn and Max figures from the 90s are like some of the best toys I've ever collected. And they hold value. That's the best thing. And he does, McFarlane does collabs with like Clive Barker. I mean, you talk about some of the pops, or not pops, some of the figures that he has done. Let's see if we can get this out of here without damaging the box too much. This is why Excalibur exists. So we can do just that. Get these things out the box without damaging the packaging. Even though he's out of box, I still want to be able to have a nice packaging. Now, this was something that I was thinking about, and I was wondering, how is he going to stand? And I just noticed once I slid the Doom Slayer out, he's got a little standee down there, and it says Doom on it, which is great. And let's see, we'll slide this orange insert out. Now, if you're a fan of Doom, I'm a fan of Doom. I've been a fan of Doom for 20 years, so going on 25 years now. Uh, as I mean, I was so young playing a game I probably shouldn't have been playing. We're gonna peel this off because this is pretty much, actually, you know what? Nope, can't pop it through. So we're gonna peel this off and then we'll just pop it out the bottom. But I was probably playing a game I probably shouldn't have been playing when I was a young child on the computer. And then eventually as I got old enough, I ended up getting the 32X version and then I got the Super Nintendo version. And I mean, it's just, the Doom, obviously Doom on computers was my, was my favorite because I used to create WAD files and everything create my own levels i loved it let's check out what we got here so here is the double barreled shotgun look at that that is sick look at the front of that wow Put that aside we'll check these all out a little bit more in depth so let's just get him out the blister pack first i mean he's a heavy figure i can feel him in the blister pack how heavy he actually is uh oh he's strapped down that is why it is okay Let's create, let's do a little bit of surgery for the Doom guy. Let's snip all these little ends off here. Okay, if we can. All these little ends. At least McFarland puts stretchies on this. That's good, right? Let's get his. All right, those are freed from the front now. So he is in there, which is good. I mean, that's what you want. You don't want him floating around the package. So there we go. We got that one off the cannon. And then we're going to do his chest. So if you are a child and you're, well, you shouldn't be a child and watching this because I believe this is like, no, it's not rated or anything like that. So if you're a child and watching this or somebody who's unpacking this, you should definitely get the supervision of an adult, especially for this middle section here where the torso is. I am an adult and I still don't want to be doing this, but yeah. You know. So there you go. That torso section is probably the hardest because you can't really get in on the sides here because you're going to cut the figure, but we're going to just loosen these up just so we can pull it through this side. And that should be the last thing that's holding him in there. Boom. The Doom Slayer. This is awesome. The Doomerine looks sick and he's been overworked where he almost kind of looks like a gears of war type character especially with these boots like this and like these like studs and stuff very like steampunky type that's a pretty cool figure he actually he's got some weight to it i say he's he's pretty he's at least a pound i'd say at least a pound he's just solid plastic he's got pretty good articulation they say on here 22 points of movement so he's got oh that's sick he's got like this like predator style little shooter cannon here which i do not remember from doom 2016 and that has also a pivoting ball here too as well so that's really cool and then his head does not really pivot too well but he does have like a football player's neck brace here which is pretty sick or like a neck roll that is awesome i guess that's to like absor absorb kind of like the hits maybe from behind his head or 
Not really sure, but that's really cool I did that. The shoulder pads or shoulder bracers, those have some kind of articulation on a swivel little ball. Uh, looks like both of them actually have that ability. He has uh, torso movements. He has arm movements that just basically go front to back. He has elbow movements, and he has some wrist movements. The wrist movements do have balls of articulation in them, but I believe that you can see right there, there's a little ball in there. Um, they do have balls of articulation in there. It's not just a, a joint, a hinge joint, but this is definitely something that uh, if it didn't have like this type of wrist protector, he'd be able to do a full back bend on his wrist. So it's like, it's like built for that ability, although he is limited by his, his suit. Leg wise, he does have like a ball joint for his hips, which is great, which allows him to kind of get in a kicking motion. You could probably do like some really cool stop motion on that. Maybe him kicking some demon or something and then shooting him with a shotgun or stabbing him. It would definitely be cool to see some people do some poses with this. I don't know if they're going to drop demons or any other type of releases in regards to figures. I think it would be really cool to get like a cyber demon or something. I don't know any type of newer demons that are inside of the Doom Eternal game. I guess we'll have to wait and see that. Look at that. They even got the Slayer symbol on the helmet. Really cool. Wow. Although I don't recognize that particular symbol right there because the rune for the Slayer is a little different than that actually now I'm looking at it. And yeah, there's his back. It's got like a spine protector on there. He's got this huge holster to carry all those weapons in and then his knees he does do a full bend on the knee but he will not sit in a sitting stance so he can kind of do like this stasis kind of jump maybe if you wanted to do something like that where he's like in a, a stasis kind of jump that you could do that um, but other than that he can't he won't get in a sitting position the feet kind of just turn left and right same thing it seems like with the wrist actually i could see you could see a ball down in there uh, so they have the ball joints on those as well. So definitely a cool figure. We're going to put the weapons in his hands now. Let's see how this stuff goes together, right? So we got both hands here just waiting to get loaded up. So let's see. This is the... Oh, okay. So this actually just goes directly into this little slot right here. And that is his new melee weapon this like retractable sword that comes out and i imagine it goes back in but right now it is in full full mode right there full exposed mode same thing goes with this this doesn't go away it just kind of gets tucked away back here i guess do you know what i mean like it's like you could do something like that with it but it doesn't have a way to like kind of tuck itself away if you don't want it out so i imagine most of you are probably just going to keep it you know like how i imagine is in most of the time in the game is going to be pointed forward like that. And then let's get the double barreled shotgun here. Let's see what we got here. Look at that. Pretty sick. Here's the handle itself. It's got like electrical tape on the handle or like some kind of a leather wrap, I guess you could say. And then it's got this retractable type of gripper thing on it, which again, I'm not sure of the gameplay mechanics yet. Oh, sick. Okay, cool. So his finger actually goes into the trigger hole to hold the gun in a position which is amazing. God, you gotta love McFarlane toys. They really do make some really, really solid toys for adults. This is an adult toy for sure. I know it doesn't have a rating on it, but if you're playing Doom, you're probably an adult. And if you're a child playing Doom, I mean, I did it, so I can't really, I can't really hate on you, so. Wow, this is really, really cool. I, I really like this figure. I like the evolution of the way the Doom guy has evolved uh, his suit. His weaponry, I mean, this is just... And having a Doom guy in figure form, which is great. Most of the times you get, like, statues... And, and I was going to say, before I get the standout, he stands good on his own. He stands good on his own. Whether it's a narrow base, a wide base, he stands good on his own. And you don't have to worry about that. I mean, you could even put him in, like, an action pose, and it looks like he stands pretty good. Let's see if we can get him in that. Yeah, you can even get him in, like, an action pose where he's, like, kind of staggered like that. But let's check him out when he is on the base here. I know this is a bit of a longer video, but this one is probably something that I, if I didn't do this, I'd be staring at my, my in, in the box and going, hmm, I think I want to take that out of the box. What, what would it be like, you know what I mean, to play with that toy? So here we go right here. We got the Doom Slayer. I'll probably just do it with his gun down like that. And then he has his, his knife, his knife hand 
which is cool. And then there's him kind of just standing like that. There is the Doom Slayer right there pointing his shotgun right at you. You got this gloss base. I wish it was matte, to be honest with you, but it's got a gloss base. You just see a lot more dust on these gloss bases. And if it was matte, it would just have a little bit more visually appealing look to it, especially with the nature of the suit here. But he's got like a really cool little like steampunky type suit. And let's just get him with his weaponry just kind of standing at his side. There's him, there's the Doom guy right there in his normal stature. Very cool. I would love to see McFarlane make all the demons and all the um, you know sizes of all the figures to be a, you know proportionate to the Doom guy. I think it would be great. And I'll unbox this on the channel because I truly I do love McFarlane toys, and I think they make some of the the highest quality and highest caliber toys on the market. Um, you know, right now still, and they have been for a while. Them Funko Lego. Hasbro, they, they all got they all got their little perks, but I definitely like McFarlane toys. He does a little bit extra added touch for adults, and I think that that's something that is to be recognized, and definitely something that I like when it comes to collecting toys. So let me know down in the comments below what you think of the Doom Slayer from Doom Eternal by McFarlane Toys, and uh, are you going to be collecting him or any of the ones that they might be dropping? in this figure wave let me know down in the comments below if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you want more content like this subscribe for more i do reviews every single day so look out for that and have a rest of your day